Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. It's your girl Final Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu and feel free to suggest anything you want to see on this channel from movies, from debates, from anything. Just anything interesting as long as it's short enough for everyone that watches to enjoy because some people complain about long long videos. Uh, so yeah, feel free to suggest anything. Follow us on social media, Fanny and Jesse 2.0. That's for our other channel. And yeah, just say hi. We'll say hi back. And feel free to comment down below. Always looking forward to your comments. This time around, I'll make sure to comment back because I feel like I have enough time. So yeah, today I'm actually going to be reacting to hijabi, shocks, the internet. So without wasting time. Let's get into the video. When your husband comes out of the shower, get on your knees and suck some positivity into that man. I want to speak to a husband because there's a big question mark on you. I've come together with the one on my charity, which is a 100% donation policy and do amazing work around the world. This winter, our brothers and sisters help to feed those who are in poor conditions and who don't even have a clothing to keep themselves warm. Your small donation might mean nothing to you, but it can change their life and help them survive the winter this year. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. So a couple of days ago, I've done a video pertaining to the sister um, about her saying that she doesn't mind her friend, her friends marrying her husband. I found that a bit weird and odd. It's not in a, in a woman's nature to be totally okay with her husband marrying someone, let alone marrying her friend. Now, does this mean that men are not polygamous by nature and they shouldn't do it? No, that's a different story. I'm not saying that. So, I found that bizarre. I've done a video. It was mediocre. And I said, we well, assume the best. And I gave her a bit of nasir. However, these two new videos that came out, or old ones, whatever they may be, I found the need to do another video because to clarify so people don't think that I'm okay, you know, just gave her a bit of nasir. No, I'm outright going to be warning about, warning against this couple. But I'm not going to be talking to her. I'm going to be talking to her boss, which she refers to her husband. Which, I don't really mind if you want to see your husband as a boss. That's fine. Alhamdulillah, not a really big deal. But I'm going to talk to him. Because it seems that the problem is with him. Not necessarily with her. Even though she might be to blame as well. Here's the two clips. Let's talk about sex. The first time I had sex was pretty difficult, you know. Um, my husband was very, mashallah, well endowed. Um, the whole point of sharing this is so, so that people know most of the time that's one as i watched the video if you take out of context just with that beginning bit which i'm going to come to but the rest of the video it's kind of balanced she's talking about real situations but to start that video like that it's very very distasteful and to me it's very weird and i'll tell you why now this next video is the one that you know um uh, yeah watch it for yourself when your husband comes out of the shower, get on your knees and suck some positivity into that man. Then go sit him down, turn on the TV and give him something to eat. Hop in the shower and come back and give him some dessert. Too many women complain to me and they're like, he never lasts long enough. Now he will. <laughs> Try it. And if you really want to learn more, go get my book. I want to speak to a husband because there's a big question mark on you. You don't show your face on the camera. She was, she's always behind there. Saying things, I don't know if it's coming from her, I don't know if it's coming from you. But, to me, there's a big question on your ghira, your protective jealousy. And there is a big question mark on her haya. Now, what do I mean by this? It's very clear that she's dressed up modestly. But hijab is not just putting a cover over your head or your body. It is what comes out of your mouth. That there seems like it's greatly lacking. Now, your husband maybe doesn't have the audacity or want to show his face for God knows whatever reason. I find it very bizarre. Why don't you show your face? You don't show your face, but you are okay by putting your wife or whatever, for whatever reason, coming out here and discussing things that are not real. From the polygamy issue of marrying her, her friend, look, you might be an exception to the rule. May Allah increase you in more co-wives. No problem. I've got nothing with that. I've always said I am pro-polygamous and I believe every man is polygamous by nature. And I vocally say that. So I'm not here to please the sisters. I'm being very honest and brutal. It is a solution. But for you to come out there and say, oh, my husband is very, you know, blessed. I'll be honest. If I was your father, I would be very, very disturbed. Best believe I'll be coming to have more than a word with you. Where is your haya? Where is your shame? In public talking about your husband and what he does or how blessed he is or whatever. Keep your blessings to yourself. 
Enjoy your blessings in your privacy. You don't need to scream it out to everybody. Number one, evil eye, hasad, that's one issue. But the lack of modesty and for your husband to allow you to do that when we know the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't look at somebody who, or something along those lines, there's a, there's like, it's, it's, it's severe, the one who goes and shares his intimate things with his partner. This is wrong. We cannot go to people and be like, oh, you know what, did my wife yesterday put up at my thing, yeah. What are you talking about, man? Have some ghira over your woman folk, your wife. What you're talking about is permissible, but for you to go and talk in that manner, this is not an action of a real man. Sister, I'm just going to refer to you for a bit, then I'm going to speak to your husband. Now you're coming and saying that you get on your knees and suck some love into him or out of him. I don't know what the, whatever, what the, whatever you said, yeah? Sister, where is your shame? Wallahi, where is your shame? Wallahi, if I was your father, I would disown you, man. Now you have to come and say, what is halal, this, that? It's disgusting. It is disgusting. Not only that, may Allah preserve your marriage. May Allah protect you from evil eye or whatever it may be. And may you guys be together until death and then Jannah. But my dear sister, what if one day you divorce or this man decides to divorce you? Do you think any man would be watching that and be like, hmm, let me marry this woman? No, after the stuff you said, believe me, yeah? Men have a different kind of gira. No man's going to be like, oh yes, oh, 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 who's your wife? Oh, my wife is that sister, you know, who came and said uh, that um, she used to do this to her ex-husband. Men sometimes can be insecure to their ex-partners. Ex-partners past, haram past, or halal. This is in a man's nature. Some men just feel insecure about that. For you to do that, you are self-sabotaging your future, just in case if things went pear-shaped. May Allah preserve you guys and protect your family unit. We don't want that to happen. To your husband, my dear brother, how are you putting your wife in front of a camera Okay, she has, she dressed up modestly. It doesn't seem like she has makeup or whatever from what I've little I've seen. The issue here is this. You are now, for some odd reason, every time you make a video, you're talking about this book and this website. This book and this website. I'll be honest. We should assume the best. But Umar ibn Khattab said, radiallahu an, that we used to judge people based on wahi. When wahi stopped, we judge people based on what we see. We judge from the apparent. So personally, I would say there is something off. And there's something a bit too weird. I don't know what will come out in the future, but it seems like you are very obsessed with this book you want to sell and this website you want people to go and sign up to. And very bizarrely, you're charging 200, I thought it was 27 pounds, $27 an hour. 271, for some reason, otherwise 271 pounds, yeah? Uh, $1 per hour for marriage counseling? What are you doing, giving diamonds and gold on the side? Is it a uh, holiday package as well? 271 pounds. Pounds, excuse me, dollars. To me, I would say, guys, be very, very wary. That's the reason why I'm blocking out the website name and muting her when she mentions a book. To me, very, something's very questionable because she is giving a false idea to men as if this is how it is. Now, don't get it twisted. Of course, you know, you are allowed to have oral intimacy with your partner. It is permissible. There's nothing wrong with it. You can have that. There's many things that you can do. Yes, many things you can do. However, to give this false perception that certain things are okay is not because you're giving a false reality to men as if that's how it is and they're putting their wives in question. That's not the case. So brothers, stop watching individuals like this, public figures like her who are, who are irresponsible in their message and are too busy, buy my book, go to my website. Buy my book, go to my website. It's literally on there. She doesn't even deny it. She says, it. yes, that's what I do. If somebody lacks hair, and I'm so sorry, if her husband in this, in this specific aspect records his wife or allows his wife to say such things there's a ghira issue yes there's a ghira issue here all they're doing is promoting book and website i'll be saying very be very wary and stay away if they were responsible they would come and discuss the issue of polygamy in a mature way in a civilized way so people can understand and benefit from it but to me with the lack of hire and the money side of it there's a big fat question mark so I would say be careful. And my dear sister, I ask you to remove these videos. If you want it for the sake of Allah, you don't need to do anything for me. Remove it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have some haya, please have some haya. And to your husband, I don't know what your guys' agenda is, whatever it is. Right now there's a question mark. Please, it's very hard to speak to uh, another sister or brother in this way. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to be real because there's people, people's money and people you're going to be taking for a ride at stake here. Please have some ghira over your wife and tell her to stop doing such things and speaking in such ways. You allowing this shows me, I'll be honest with you, you can have three, four wives, yeah? If you're allowing this, let me tell you something. If I was in that situation, and my wife, for example, was over the moon, if I got two, three, four wives, and she, and she spoke like that, 
I'll say, you know what? I'd rather be, I'd rather be with one wife than having my wife speaking in that manner about intimate things with no haya. That's all I had to say. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me if I've said anything to hurt anybody. But I found the need to do this video because after the polygamy video, which I was very balanced, and I said, let's assume the best in the sister. When I saw these videos, I don't want people thinking, okay, Ali just, you know, gave her an asir, but I said, you know, let's assume the best. No, there's not assume the best now. For all, assume the best outside in the bin, please. Be wary of these individuals. Not just her, these public figures who make their, you know, their, as if marriage is all hunky-dory and holidays are the same irresponsible people. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I really love his take on the whole situation, even though he didn't play the, the ladies' entire videos. Uh, but what I'm getting from this is I actually agree with him. If you're blessed with something, you don't have to go and show the world about it. You don't know who's looking, you don't know who's hating, you don't know who's plotting, and you just don't know what may happen next. So you have to um, sometimes just keep your blessings to yourself not sometimes most of the times keep the, your blessings to yourself you know and i know women love to discuss things like there's no telling a woman that you can't discuss this and if you're discussing it with your friends sometimes it's understandable but if you have to tell the whole world then there's an issue somewhere because why do you want the attention but in this situation the fact that she's she keeps uh, selling um her book and her website then that's why she's doing what she's doing at the end of the day if you've noticed celebrities will always come up with some sort of rumor or have some sort of drama going on and in a few days time they're selling a product they're releasing music they're doing this and this you know and i feel like that's what she's trying to do it's just a marketing strategy for the book and for the website otherwise muhammad ali's take on this Otherwise, his take on this was very, very interesting to watch. Let me know what you guys actually think down below. If there's anything like this you want me to react to or have videos that you want me to react to, just drop a link with the video. Drop a link to the video down below and I'll be sure to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.